Hello, what's going on everybody? It's your girl and consultant, Shabrice. So I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes just to see if I am going to have some people join me live. Man, it was a beautiful day today and it's a gorgeous night. It's finally here. I think summer is almost here. I cannot wait. I know that we've all been tired of this New England cold and rain and dreary weather, but we've had a couple of nice days here and there, right? We just want it to be consistent. You know how we get. We're greedy. We want it all. We want it to be hot when it's cold. We want it to be cold when it's hot. <laughs> That's just how we do in New England. Ah, hello to my lovely hostess. How are you? Good evening. I'm so glad you could join me. How was your day? Anything exciting or interesting happen in your day today? I was busy today. Uh, I worked and Monday is my Friday. So Monday is the last day of the week for me. So I'm like, woo, excited, happy, tired, all in one. Let's see. Hello. Great day. Yes. That's what I like to hear. Fantastic. Nothing exciting. <laughs> That's okay. Doesn't have to be eventful, just so long as it was good, right? That's really what matters. <laughs> All right, so I always like to get started. I really try to be on time. I'm very respectful of everyone's time. So one of the things that I love is that you can always go and play it back. So we've got our lovely hostess here, and I think we've got somebody else that joined us. Woohoo! Who else is here? Hey, Nicole, thank you for joining. Woohoo! When I got two, I got a crowd. All right, so I wanted to come live because when I do my demos, I'm gonna take these clinky bracelets off. When I do my demos, I like for you to want to be able to see me and you to see products in action. But tonight's uh, demo is actually just going to be for me to share my top 10 essential tools that I think every kitchen needs. And these are the things that some you don't have to necessarily, it doesn't have to be Pampered Chef, but I'm going to tell you why I think ours are great and why I know your kitchen needs them. And then there's some other things that's going to help you in the kitchen to kind of get the job done, get it done quickly without breaking the bank, and it's going to be useful for other people in your family. So let's get started. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If I don't catch them while we're live, I'll go back and I'll answer them as well as all the other questions as well. I kind of like to get people going, but if you haven't been answering anything, please participate. I like to give things away, but I got to give it away when people are participating. Hint, hint. So make certain that you're responding. Make certain that you're having fun in here. That's what this is all about. So top 10 essentials for every kitchen. I'm first going to start with my number three items that every kitchen absolutely has to have. So what we got? Uh, hey, Karen, thank you for joining. All right. The first is a great cutting board. Now, you might go, what? A cutting board? That's what you're starting off with? And yes, I am. And I'm going to tell you why. Every kitchen needs to have one because you do so many things on your countertops that you need something to protect them as well as other things that you're going to use to cut and chop with okay and it's essential that you pick out the right cutting board one of the things i love about our large groove cutting board is that it has two sides you see the flat side here but then you also see that large groove right there okay now that large groove is important because it's going to help catch any of the juices from your fruits or your vegetables or your meats so that they don't spill all over the place. You know sometimes when you're on the counter and you've got this side on and you're chopping something up and you're like, oh, that's great, but you need to get from here to over there. And so you try that balancing act and you're like, I've got this, nothing's going to spill and you're walking and you're moving really steady and, uh, and then all of a sudden, oh, it starts to tip and tilt and there's juice everywhere. Drives me insane. Well, this, my friends, you don't have to worry about it happening with that. The other nice thing that I love is it's got these rubber grips that are here. This is going to be essential because when you're chopping and when you're cutting, you want your cutting board to stay in its place. There's nothing like a cutting board that's sliding all over because you already know that that's dangerous, and it's dangerous. That's really all, that's all about it. The other nice thing that I love 
is that we have measurements on there, okay? I'm gonna put it up a little closer. So you can measure between inches and centimeters. If you're someone like me, I measure everything. So if there's a stir fry and it says to have a half of inch or an inch or two inches of strips, I can use this to make certain that it's perfect. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's just me and all my craziness and how I do things. The other nice thing is that it's polyurethane. It's gonna be great for your knives. It'll keep them nice and sharp. It doesn't stain, it doesn't discolor, and it doesn't keep an odor. Plus, it's dishwasher safe. These are fantastic. Anytime I am cooking or doing any prep, this is always on my counter, guaranteed. So a large groove cutting board, we have other sizes, but I like this one the most just because of all the key features that it has. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, you're welcome, Nicole. Thank you. Uh, I'm excited for you. And um, it is cool. I'm telling you, absolutely, absolutely love this one. All right, next essential. If you're gonna have a great cutting board, you gotta have a good piece of cutlery. These are the things that you can't skimp on. I'm gonna tell you that if you're gonna invest, the three things that I named first are the three things that you actually really do need to spend money on. You're going to have them for a very long time. When you have quality and you spend on it, then you don't have to worry about replacing it six months from now, a year from now, two years from now. Don't get me wrong. I love to shop in Target and Walmart and other places. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I will tell you, from when I used to shop there as to starting Pampered Chef and using my products, I notice that whatever I get from Pampered Chef, I don't have to replace it. I've had products for over 13 years, 19 years, because they last. And if I'm going to spend money on it, I want it to last. That's what brings me to this. We have tons of different cutlery. You find whatever piece is going to be perfect for you for whatever your needs are. But this is our chef's 8-inch knife. Can you just see the beauty? Just look at that shop, miss. That's what I like. I'm going to tell you several reasons why I love this knife. First of all, you got a German steel blade. The blade is from the tip to the tank. So you don't have to worry that that's going to come out or it's going anywhere. And as a matter of fact, I, um, I realized that I'm using the older model. We have a newer one. And it's fantastic. When you are using your knives, you want to make certain that you have a knife that has a good weight on it because that's going to help keep things balanced when you're cutting and it's going to prevent injury. The thing also about our Forge Cutlery, lifetime guarantee on these knives. Did you hear me? Lifetime. You can will these to someone. This knife here is probably about a good 10 years old and I use it in conjunction with the newer version because the newer version I take to my shows while my older one I keep at home and there's nothing like it if you have any of our cutlery pieces please say something because I tell you it cuts like butter and the other nice thing is is that when you are cutting your foods or your veggies or whatever have you you want to make certain that you're going to be safe the number one injury prevention when it comes to cuts are from dull knives and I'm going to tell you, I don't care what we have, if it cuts, it is sharp. Do not look at it and think, oh, that looks like it wouldn't do any damage. Trust me, it would. The main thing about your knives that you're never, ever, ever supposed to do, you don't ever soak your knife, you never put it in the dishwasher, and you never store it right side up. It may seem like, oh, I know that, but my husband loves to store the knives right side up all the time. Drives me insane. These are great, too, because they're great gifts. You know, if you know someone who is getting married or someone who is getting, you know, starting out new, <laughs> these are perfect gifts to get for them. You're constantly cutting and you want to have a good piece of cutlery to help you get that job done so that it can be done quickly, it can be done easily and without injury. Our Forge Cutlery is fantastic. That then leads me to... The third top thing that when you're going to have it, you need to invest in it and you need to make certain that you do it right. And that is a good piece of cookware. I don't care what kind of cookware you get, you need to get, or what, what piece of cookware you get, but you need to have a quality piece of cookware. Remember, you're going to be cooking four or five times a day, a week, maybe two or three times a day. You want something that's going to withstand the test of time of whatever it is you're doing. Our cookware pieces are top notch we have two different types our stainless steel and our non-stick 
this now we have just came out is our non-stick stainless steel what they took non-stick and they married it with stainless steel and now you've got this beautiful piece and I'll tell you why I love it. I'm a non-stick girl, love non-stick. And part of it was because stainless steel, it kind of just made me a little nervous. You gotta be careful, things tend to stick, things, things tend to burn. It gives you a great sear when you want it, but it can kind of be, ugh. Well, not this one! Do you see that grid in there? So it's stainless steel on the outside, but it's got a grid inside here that gives it non-stick. But you can sear in it. So you're gonna get that fond. Do you know what fond is? It's like when you take a, I love chicken thighs. So you take a chicken thigh, you put a little olive oil on it, season it up, put it right in your pan and you let it get crispy and brown on one side and on the other. Oh my God, delicious. Well, all those bits and pieces that's left behind, that's called fond. That's where you get all your flavoring. You don't ever wanna throw that away or throw that out. That is what's gonna give you that Mm, deliciousness for anything else that you're cooking with and <laughs> you said that I'm a riot I try my best and so that's one of the things that I love about this the other nice feature is that it is dishwasher safe yes you can put it in the dishwasher the other nice thing is you can use metal in it what whoever knew that you could use metal in non-stick well, that's because what we do at Pampered Chef. We know that you need pieces that are versatile. We know that you don't have time. And we also know that you may do it right. But you know, sometimes the people in our households, they don't listen. And they don't do it the right way. And the last thing you want to do is yell at someone because they put a scratch in your pan because they use metal and nonstick. The other thing I love about ours, there's no Teflon in any of our cookware pieces. So you're not going to worry about things chipping off and getting in your belly or getting in your food because that's where we don't want it to be. It's got this nice hole right here so that if you like to hang up, you can't see the other side of my wall, but I hang my cookware pieces up and I love that feature. And if you didn't know this, two things. So there's a difference between a fry pan and a skillet. You know how sometimes you look and you go, gosh, I wish that came with a lid. Why didn't it come with a lid? Well, the reason is, is that fry pans don't come with lids and skillets do. And that's how you know the difference between the two of them. So this is a skillet because it has a lid. This lid is glass, which is beautiful so that when you're cooking your food, you can actually see in it and you don't have to lift the lid up 50 million times to see what's going on. It comes in two different sizes. And if I'm correct, this is the 10 inch. Yep, this is the 10 inch size. I use this all the time. And the thing about it is you can use it for whatever it is that you want to cook with. And the last thing, lifetime guarantee on our cookware pieces. What? Again, you can will these away. And what that means and why that's essential, let's say it's seven years from now and something goes wrong with your pan. All you're going to do is call up Pamper Chef. Beep boop 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 boop. Hello. Hi, I actually bought a pan um, at my friend Patty's uh, party and something went terribly wrong. And they're gonna say, no problem. People bought, oh, we found that order for you. We can get a new pan out to you right away. We're gonna ship you a label and you're gonna ship it back and we'll take care of it because that's what we do. That's the customer service that we offer that you're not gonna get in other stores and other places. That's why I'm telling you Pampered Chef rocks. So the three top ones that you can't ever skim on and you always wanna make certain that you're gonna invest in a great skillet or piece of cookware, a great piece of cutlery, and a cutting board. Those are the three essentials that every kitchen has to have. Now let's get to what I feel you also need to have in your kitchen to make things and make life a little bit easier. The simple can opener. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I've had those can openers, you know, that one that's silver and it's got the little thing on the side and it's skinny and you're constantly trying to do this and do that and the top falls inside, ugh, and then the paper's all in there and you're trying to get it out and the worst thing of it all is that you can cut yourself. Well, we've solved that problem. This is the Smooth Edge can opener and what I love about it, it's a smooth operator, smooth operator, it works as such you put it on top of your can like you're landing a helicopter okay it's magnetic so as soon as you put it on top of the can it's gonna stick to it 
Then all you do is you turn. Now, then you hear that? Hear that little click? When you get all the way around, you're gonna feel the tension release. And that's how you'll know you've gone full circle. Then all you do is turn it backwards once and it'll pop off. You see those little teeth right there? Okay, you see me pressing that button in those teeth? All you do is you take that, you clip it on the edge and then you pull it right up. And that's how it works. The nice thing about it is it's gonna have a smooth edge around it so that one, you won't cut yourself, two, it won't fall back into the can, and three, you know how sometimes you need a can of tomato sauce or tomato paste and you don't need the whole entire can and maybe you don't feel like taking out something to put it in? Well, now you've got that lid and because it's got that smooth edge, you can pop the lid back on it and you can put it right inside your refrigerator for a couple of days. You know, you can't keep it in that can for too long, okay? But that's what's great. So if you have dog food or cat food and you refrigerate it, that's what you can do. The other nice thing, and I like to mention about that is, it's safe for your pets. My dog got into our recycling bin one time, and luckily, I used a smooth edge can opener because he had gotten into a can, and if he had licked it the way he did with a regular can opener, I don't need to tell you what would have happened. Smooth edge can opener is fantastic, and it's great. And the other nice thing I love about all our products, whether you're a lefty or a righty, they're gonna work in every hand. All right, the next is the scraper. I don't know who owns Pamper Chef and doesn't have one of these bad boys, all right? Love them. They've got the rubber up at the top. They've got the rubber at the handle. They all say Pamper Chef, but these scrapers are fantastic. And why? Because they get everything out and into everything. If you're making a cake batter or some kind of mix, this bad boy here, this, this right here, drove my daughter insane when I used to make cakes when she was little because there was never any of the batter for her to lick because it got everything out. It's extremely sturdy. They don't discolor. They don't smell. And the best of all, they don't chip and they don't melt. You can literally put this in the oven at 350 degrees in a pan and bake it and it will not melt. The tip, I believe, is heat resistant up to maybe 450 degrees, while a handle is pretty much, I think, like um, 325. Love your scrapers. Woo, woo. That's what I like to hear. You can't live without them. They come in various sizes, and they don't come apart. I've seen the ones people will go, I can buy from the dollar store. Again, I'm not trying to knock the dollar store because trust you me, I go there too, but not for my kitchen tools because that same person, I can't, can not tell you how many times I had seen them like four parties later and they're like, ooh, those ones that I got at the dollar store, they're ripping, they're chipping, they melted. I didn't even really have that, the heat high that melted. I have walked away, people, and have left this inside the pot watching television, doing a load of laundry. I came back, I was like, oh my God, I forgot. And it still looked good. So these scrapers are fan-freaking-tastic and the dishwasher safe. Next up, the mix and chop. I could not say enough about the mix and chop. Now you might look and go, what in the world? All right, you see those little grooves and how it's scalloped right there? This tiny little tool, well, it's not so tiny. But this tool right here, for anyone that has Taco Tuesday or loves ground beef, ground turkey, ground pork, ground chicken, whatever it may be, and you like to get it in those little crumples, this is the piece for you. The mix and chop is designed so that whatever meat that you want to crumble up into bite size or small pieces, this is what you're going to do it with. You put your meat inside your pan and you let it cook first. Really important. All right. Once it starts to cook and almost all the pink is gone, all you do is chop and twist, chop and twist, chop and twist. And you will see all of the meat just crumble and crumble and crumble. And you're like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. How did that happen? It's amazing. And Taco Tuesday is on. OK, can't say enough about it. If you want to do mashed potatoes, boom, you're going to use it for that. If you're doing avocados, boom, you're going to do it for that. You can use this for so many things. The other thing, for those of you who bake your cookies, there's a little star for you. Just boop, right in the dough. And now you've got this perfect little pinwheel star. Love, love the mix and chop. And guess what? It's dishwasher safe. It also has a really nice grip handle on there. So it's got some good weight to it. It's not too heavy, but it's good because when you're chopping in, the, um, it's made of the, um, so that you don't have to worry about using it in glass 
or using it in non-stick because it won't scratch. Mm, you're welcome. All right, next on the list. The garlic press. Listen to me, Lindas. Stop buying garlic out of the jar. <clears throat> Did you know that some garlics in the jar have formaldehyde in it? Yeah, I'm telling you. Yes, it does, okay? Did you ever stop and think, well, damn. Why and how is it that this garlic has been sitting on this shelf for five years and it still seems okay? That's not normal, all right? There's nothing like some fresh garlic in your kitchen, cooking, everyone sitting down, and all of a sudden they're like, oh my gosh, what is that? It smells like garlic. Especially if you're making garlic bread, you do anything Italian, you gotta have the garlic press. Now, the garlic press is fantastic because one, you might see others on the market, but I'm gonna tell you one thing that every one of my customers tell me. The hopper is not as big as ours. And if it's gonna be smaller than this, you're gonna be pressing a lot of garlic. If you want your garlic to be minced, then the garlic press is for you. You know we got something else if you want it in slices, but I'm talking about your minced one. The key to ours is you don't peel your garlic. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Don't peel the garlic. Leave the skin on. Put the whole thing in here, flip it, squeeze it, and garlic just shoots right out. And you're like, oh my gosh. And then it's so fast, because then you open it back up. It comes with this, I like to call it the Barbie brush. It looks like my old Barbie doll's brush's hair. Hair brush, you know what I mean. And it actually sticks right here. I, I don't know what I did with mine, but it stays right here so you always know where it's at. But then you take the end of it and you take out the skin. And then if anything's stuck in here, in there, because I said it's like a brush, it has these little bristles, um, not bristles, but it has these little spikes. And you just push it and it pops everything out on the other side. It's dishwasher safe. My garlic press, I want to say, is probably about a good seven years old, if not a little older, okay? And I, if I'm cooking... I'm using. Love, love, love my garlic press. <laughs> you lost your Barbie brush? No! Well, I lost mine. I think that's what she was saying. All right. Next up. If you like a little cocktail every now and again, then you're going to love the quick stir pitcher. This is a smaller one, okay? And this one I love because it serves two quarts. We have the family size one that serves four. But... The thing about the quick, um, the quick stir pitcher is it's gonna actually mix up whatever drink you want just like that. It has a plunger, okay, and it's here in the lid. It all comes apart, so it's all dishwasher safe. But the key piece about it is you put all your liquids inside. Even if you're doing, if you have sugar or if you're doing a mixed drink or whatever have you, close it up and then you pump it. Pump, pump the jam. Pump, pump the jam. Pump, pump it up, pump it up. That's what you do. And it incorporates everything. Now, I grew up in a time where there was Kool-Aid, and I loved Kool-Aid. And the only thing that I didn't like about Kool-Aid was stirring the Kool-Aid pitcher. We would stir for like what seemed 25 minutes, only to pour it, and all the sugar would still be at the bottom of the pitcher. When I first saw this, the first thing I said was, where was this when I was a kid? It, and of course I tried it. I'm not even kidding you. I don't know how many years later, I found a packet of Kool-Aid, made Kool-Aid, and it was the best thing ever. But it's also good for baby formula. So if someone I just recently had a nephew, well, he's five months now, and he's so adorable. I gave this to my brother and to his girlfriend as a gift, and it was perfect for them to be able to mix up the baby formula because, again, it incorporates everything. It's going to be perfect for iced tea. It's going to be perfect for lemonade. It's that time of the year, and trust me, you are going to want to have one or two of these inside your fridge. Plus, it's really nice when kids are helping out for the smaller ones that they can actually help with the cooking or the prepping or whatever have you, and it has the strainer. Okay, so if you're making a drink with berries and you don't want the berries to get in your glass, then you can use that so it doesn't come out. And you can do hot drinks in here as well. Okay, ah, I try my best. I try my best. So all dishwasher safe. My husband uses this for his tea. He loves to make his organic tea and he's always like, wow, I love, love, love this. And I will tell you, 
it will discolor if you use a certain, like if you only use it for tea or only use it. And I'm going to tell you a simple trick. Soak it with a little bit of bleach and I promise you it all comes right off. That's what I love about this. But the quick start picture is the bomb.com. All right. Next up is the microwave pasta maker. Now this is almost one of our newest products that came out, but I'm telling you, I had to put it on my top 10. And the reason why, for those of you who love pasta, especially for those of you who have kids and they eat macaroni and cheese, I'm gonna just tell you right now, say what you want, I do not like cheese. I am not lactose intolerant, I just don't like cheese. Ugh. Only cheese I eat is mozzarella, and I don't go crazy with that. For anything else, you can keep it. But what I will say is this, that box macaroni and cheese, oh gosh, no more, don't do it. You and your kids are gonna be able to make pasta, microwave, macaroni and cheese right in here in 12 minutes. And you're gonna make it fresh and homemade. All you have to do, and this is pretty deep, we have great recipes on my website for it, so don't worry about that. And you'll think of your own as you get to use it. But you put your water, and your noodles, whatever kind you like, okay, right inside there, season it up the way you want. You're gonna put the lid on, and you're gonna pop it in the microwave for eight minutes, okay? And follow along, because kids can do this, okay? Now you're going to take it out. See this lid right here? This lid with the holes is made of silicone. It's actually used as a colander as well. So you're gonna take the lid off, and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna pour your pasta in your liquid, and you know what's gonna happen, it's gonna drain at the bottom. And everything's back there. You're going to put that back in. Again, things that kids can do themselves. And now you're going to add your evaporated milk and your real shredded cheese. Not that cheese shredded in a bag. Did you know that tree cheese that's shredded in the bag has sawdust? Please don't do it. I'll talk about some other products later on in the show and another day about how you do your own cheese and why it's so much better for you and healthier for you to shred your own cheese and to buy that cheese in the bag. Don't do it. So now you're gonna sprinkle your cheese in there, you're gonna put your lid back on, and you're gonna put it back in the microwave for four more minutes. You're gonna have the best macaroni and cheese ever. And guess what? It's gonna be healthier for you. You don't have all those preservatives in there. And one of my favorite dishes to make in here, I take some mushrooms, I take tomatoes, I take a little bit of mozzarella cheese, I do my pasta and I use penne. Um, cook my pasta first, drain it out, and the chicken sausage, I, uh, you know, it's already pre-cooked, so I do it in slices, and some spinach. I add all of that in there, put it in the microwave. Oh my goodness, the best! If you're at work, you can bring all of that and make all of that at work in 12 minutes. So if you have a short lunch break or you can't go too far, this is going to be perfect for that. You can make a cookie right inside here in the microwave. This is made of ceramic, so guess what? It's microwavable and it goes in the oven as well. And it's dishwasher safe. These are the things that I love about Pampered Chef because we want to make certain that you can use your products in so many different ways and that you're not just buying one product that can only do one thing. We want to give you that versatility. The little companion that's sold separately are the little cozies. These are great because these are microwavable and they're uh, uh, machine washable. But what I do, because this can get pretty hot, is I put it right in. Put it like this and put it right inside the microwave and take it right out. Again, really good for our kids so that they don't burn themselves. The other nice thing is if you're like me <laughs> and you love ice cream, <laughs> this serves as a great little um, holder for your ice cream bowl because it's always so cold. Well, you put it right in here. They come in a set of two. This is the larger one and there's a smaller one. But I love the cozies. They're fantastic and you can use them for so many things. And then... Last but not least, let me make sure I got it right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we're here at the end. And a couple of my favorites, and I say a couple because you can buy them separately or you can get them as a set. But these are our micro cookers. And I'm gonna tell you something, I couldn't live without them. They come in a set of three, but again, they're also sold separately. You've got your little baby one, is what I like to call it, baby bear. And you got Mama Bear. And then you got Big Daddy over here. Now, I'm going to tell you how I typically look at things. One or less, smaller is always best. Three or more, larger is what you go for. 
And I mean that by your family size. If it's just you, it's always just you. You really don't have anyone that comes over. If you do, you usually typically go out. Then I'm going to tell you the small one is perfect for you. All right. However, if you've got two or more in your family, I'm going to tell you why I bypass the medium and I go straight to this. Micro cookers are designed so that you can use them in the microwave and they're used to reheat and to steam foods and veggies. So they're going to be perfect for things like soup. They're going to be perfect for things like if you're doing like some type of little dip that you want to reheat and maybe you want to serve out of. And it's also going to be good for steaming your veggies, broccoli, spinach, carrots, Anything like that, you're going to be able to put in your micro cooker. The other thing that I love is that these lids, and they're newly designed. So if you have our micro cookers, if you remember, they have the handle. There's nothing different except they just redesigned the shape of it because now they stack better. You put that lid on, but the other nice thing is you see those holes right there. So if you have any kind of liquid and you need to drain it, you drain it at the same time. No wasting any more dishes. All dishwasher safe. I will tell you, I actually like to wash mine. My dishwasher, I think, just has hard water and sometimes it leaves stains on things. So it doesn't, mine, it doesn't wash as well as mine for me and my dishwasher, but they are dishwasher safe. Now I'm going to tell, oh, the other nice thing is they have the etchings in here for your measurements. So you can see one cup, two cup, and things like that. And a lot of times that's important for people when they're trying to cook. They want to be able to do that. You don't want a measuring cup. You can just put everything all in one. But I'm going to tell you why I say I choose this size. I make rice probably three to four times a week. I am a rice girl. All right. And one of the things that I love is I make my rice in the microwave. I used to do it on the stovetop like my mom taught me. But once I got this, I tried it in the microwave. My rice came out perfect every time. I haven't touched the stove for rice in I don't know how many years. OK, this is the bigger one and it's called the Rice Cooker Plus. And the reason is, is because you can make your rice right inside here in the microwave. I use jasmine rice, two cups, uh, a cup and three fourths of water one cup of rice. I always put some salt in there. I put a little bit of olive oil or I'll use our garlic infused canola oil. Fantastic. And then I might add a couple of my little extra, extra special seasonings that I don't ever tell anyone about. Put it in the microwave with the lid on and I do it for five minutes on high power. Once the five minutes is up, then I put it on 50% power for 15 minutes. Perfect rice every single time my husband can do it as well as my daughter and it comes out great now the other nice thing that you can do in this rice cooker is you can make pasta right inside your microwave now someone may think what what do you mean well listen the time that it takes for you to put your pot on the stove boil the water put the pasta reboil it and god forbid if you leave it in too long and now it's going to be hard Guess what? You don't have to worry about that. Whatever your pasta uh, instructions are in the box, always add two extra minutes. So I do 12 minutes for pretty much any one of my pastas. I fill up my pasta amount. I fill the water up, you know, just a little bit above it, a little bit more. Add my oil and my seasoning. I put my lid on it and I throw it in the microwave for 12 straight flat minutes. Remember what I said? It has those holes. So then all I do... Because it has this protective piece in there, I just take this out, I put that back on it. This one has the holes right there, I flip it over, and guess what, I drain out all of the liquid, and now I'm just left with my sauce. So, if I just wanna have plain pasta and I don't want anything in it, maybe I just wanna do noodle pastas with butter, or maybe I'm just gonna add just the sauce. I can put it right in here, throw it in the microwave for another couple of seconds to warm it up, and good, I'm good to go. I'm also going to be able to do my mashed potatoes. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you something about me. Uh, I don't do anything from scratch unless it's a holiday, okay? I have made the fine art of taking something out of a box and making it taste just like it was homemade. But there's some things you can't skimp with. Now, I'm going to tell you, before I moved to New Hampshire, uh... Mashed potatoes in the box was what I grew up on. And my mom is a fantastic cook. And she says to me all the time, if you can take it out of a box, you can't just take it out the box and make it the way the box says. You've got to create your own. You've got to add your own little flavor to it and your own bit of love. And no one will ever know. And she was right. But 
one of my girlfriends, a close friend of mine, she had made some mashed potatoes one day. And I was like, oh, these are really good. And I said, how do you make, what box, what brand do you use? And she was like, what do you mean what brand do I use? I buy my potatoes and I make it. I was like, in another world, you make homemade mashed potatoes? I thought it was this complicated thing. And she goes, how do you make yours? And I set up the box. And she was like, oh, my God, who would ever do that? So she showed me how simple and easy it was, but she showed me on the stovetop. So if you know me and you're getting to know me, I was like, that takes too long. I'm not trying to do that. And then I realized I can do it in my micro cooker. So you know what I do? I take my red potatoes and I usually put about maybe six to eight of them in here, fill it up with water, put it in the microwave for about 15 minutes. Honey child, let me tell you, best freaking mashed potatoes ever now i use our little brush to clean off my potatoes because i don't peel them i put them in there with the skin on and everything i drain out the water and then i reach for this and i mash it up a little bit now i'm going to tell you i use two different things i use this to kind of break it up and mash it but they're so so soft that what i really end up using in the end is my potato masher and this is what's going to give it those nice chunks so that it's still chunky, not too lumpy, but soft at the same time. And then I mash it. I add my butter. I add my salt. I add my milk. Fan freaking tastic. And you can make an upside down cake inside this thing. So that's why I say, and you can still do your veggies, steaming them, and you can still reheat, reheat food inside here. And it's safe for you to use in the microwave. These are my top 10 essential kitchen items that I feel every kitchen should have to get yourself started. Or if you're looking for some new things to update, these are the ones to go with. Again, this comes in a set or you can buy them each individually. The reason why I love the larger one is because it's called the Rice Cooker Plus. It's still a, a micro steamer, but you're going to be able to make rice and pasta and potatoes in here and do cakes and all of that other good stuff. So there you have it. Those are my top 10, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be back on Wednesday. I'm going to go live again, but on Wednesday, I'm going to cook something. And when I cook, it's usually about, I'd say about a 45-minute demo to an hour because I'm going to actually cook something, and I'm going to show you the products in use. Not these particular products, but some other ones that I love and that I use in my kitchen every day. Now, remember... If you're watching this, if you're on, please participate. It makes it so much more fun when you are engaged and you're helping and you're telling me what you want to see. Go in the catalog and browse. Tell me what you have. Do you have a product that you're not too sure about? Have you looked at a product and thought, ooh, I wonder how that works? I am more than happy to demo a product for you. The party is going to end on Sunday. All right. So you want to make certain that you're watching, you're getting your orders in. You don't have to wait for the party to close to place your order. The moment you place your order, everything ships within 48 hours. Okay. And it's going to be delivered directly to your door. And I cannot tell you. One of the things is that we have a 30 day money back guarantee. And what that simply means is if you get a product and you're not satisfied with it, all you need to do is let me know. You have 30 days, 30 whole days to return it for free. You will get a full refund and you don't even have to pay for shipping. And the reason why Pamper Chef does that is because we believe in our products. It is very, very rare that someone calls me up and says, I don't like this, I want to return it. Okay, And all of our products have at least, at least a one year warranty. Everything is warranty. Some things more than others based on what it may be, but everything has a warranty. So please join back. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And if you want to see something live in action, let me know. I will be live again on Wednesday. I don't know the time just yet because I've got a couple of things to do that day, but I will let you know Wednesday morning what time I'll be live. It'll be sometime in the evening, and I'm going to try to keep it at the 7.30 slot because I tend to like that. Most people kind of settle, and it works really well for my household too. So I will see you then. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, and I hope you had a great time. And again, make sure you participate. I'll talk to you later. All right. You're welcome, my friend. Yes, they did change the micro cookers, and they do look nice. I love, love, love them. And at first, I was a little like, what they do? What they, you know, we don't all like change. We all like, why did they change it? But I absolutely love, love, love them. I don't 
particularly care so much if they change it. It just better work the same. That's all I care about. All right, everybody. I'll talk to you later. And again, thank you so much. And shout out to my girl, Donna. Our daughters went to school together. What a small world. All right, everybody. Have a great night. Bye.